She won most talkative in high school, and she has been running her mouth ever since. Welcome to the Lisa Fisher Said Podcast with your host, Lisa Fisher. All right, Sarah, everybody has a story. So before we, uh, you, you, you're, the, the advice you dispense, not medical advice, because we're saying you're a podcaster, uh, you've got a great social media account. But you're on fire, as the kids say. It's fire. They like do the fire emoji, everything about your social media. But how did you get here? How do you know what you know and why? Oh, I just got the chills all over my body because it all starts with the gut and it all started with my gut. Um, I grew up in a family where my parents had never had a weight issue. So if you don't have a weight issue, why do you care what you eat, right? So I was in a household where breakfast was pancakes and waffles and orange juice. And um, my siblings were fine and they didn't think anything of it as far as eating that way. But I always knew that it didn't feel right. Um, I was always trying to figure out what was the next best thing. Well, of course, all of us um, in the 80s and 90s were on the low fat, no fat diet. Oh. And at least I knew that I should be eating protein. But at the same time, most of my diet was fruit, frozen, frozen yogurt, and bagels. Oh, wait, and, and popcorn because it was fat free. Yes. Popcorn. And um, snack oils. Yes. <sighs> the, and you could eat as many as you wanted because there was no fat. And there was you no could fat. Keep eating and eating. That's right. Eating. So, yep, you're right there with me. So with all of that, you pair that with my personality, type A personality, you know, very good student. Um, I was an athlete. I played volleyball. I rode crew. And then I I went to Stanford, which was extremely stressful. (laughs) Okay. Okay. You you buried the lead. Hey, people (laughs) listening. She went to Stanford. The rest is the rest of the story. (laughs) Well, being at Stanford, you feel really dumb. Like in, in high school, <laughs> you're the smart girl. And yeah. at Stanford, I was not the smart girl. And I also um, was no longer an athlete. So I had a lot of like, who am I, right? This whole identity. But I got my feet, you know, under me and, and kept going and actually realized that I was pretty smart compared to some of those other people. I studied hard. Um, but as I was going along, I just didn't feel well. And then into my 20s, my gut was like, yeah, I don't like what you're doing. And you might still be thin, but you've got, you look like you're pregnant. And you're okay. Let me, let me stop you here. That is about the time that we're all put on birth control pills and we drank diet sodas. Yeah. Were you in that camp as well? Uh, birth control, yes. Um, diet sodas, I never really was on diet sodas. However, wow. I had a, my very best friend would drink over 64 ounces of Diet Coke a day. Yep. Yep. And when she was doing that, it was almost like this aha moment saying, Sarah, you probably shouldn't do that. Good. No, it wasn't that I wouldn't drink a, a soda. Like going to the movies, I would get a Diet Coke and the popcorn, as you mentioned. Yep. Um, but I was not a daily diet Coke person. Okay. Good. So it could be worse because a lot of us in that era were all, because remember we thought fat and calories had something to do with the equation. We now know that is highly erroneous. So we were then slurping on a, I was drinking tab girl. Like I was serious. <laughs> Sipping on that tab, eating ramen noodles, low fat, no fat. Right. And popcorn wondering why do I toot all the time? You know, why, why, why is my hair falling out? Why do I look a mess? Well, that's it. And I was eating, um, egg beaters. So the eggs without the yolks Yeah, and not that that's a bad thing and we can get into that later, but, um, yeah, you know, you get so tuned up on what food is and you're so away from what nature intended. So fast forward to, I get married, I get pregnant, and aha, this is interesting. I have always run run high in testosterone. I get pregnant and my skin gets worse. I'm pregnant with a boy. They always say the girls make your skin 
worse and they steal your beauty and the boys make you better. What was the opposite with me? And then fast forward when I was pregnant with my daughters, my skin got better. So that's a little hint as far as what was going on with my hormones. Um, But with every pregnancy, the nutrients just were drained out of me. My hair was falling out. My skin was breaking out. Um, I still looked pregnant after I was pregnant, even though the weight went off right away. So I never had an issue with weight going up and down with my pregnancies. Um, Last pregnancy, I literally was on death's door. I mean, I finally went to a GI doctor. They put tubes up me, around me. And um, literally the lady did not remember my name when I would go in week after week. And I'm like, oh my God, the bedside manner of this person. And I'm not saying every doctor's like that, but it was right. really discouraging. And at the very end, all she said was, take some Metamucil, you've got IBS. And I thought, okay, no. So that's when my mom, out of all people, um, said, you should call this guy. I've heard about him. And I th- he does this um, scanning. And I don't really understand it, Sarah, but I think it's up your alley. So what he did is he used the SKIO machine, which is a biofeedback machine. It scans your body with over 10,000 items. And when he said to me, Sarah, I don't know how you got out of bed this morning. Mm. I don't know how you got to my office. Your digestion has shut down. Your food is literally rotting in your stomach. Um, your hormones are out of whack, your heavy metals are through the roof. And yeah, you're not depressed because you have depression. You're depressed because you don't feel good and you don't know how to fix yourself. And by the way, your thyroid's out and all these other things. And so when he started describing literally how I felt, I, I was crying with tears of joy because someone finally understood me. It's just validating you. It, it is somebody listening to you. I remember getting my first, finally getting diagnosed with Hashimoto's and a tear because I said, just, I've been saying this for years and you're corroborating what I've been saying because yeah. everyone else is so dismissive. And everyone in my family, because no one had health issues back right, right then yet, yet. Yeah. Um, they thought I was the crazy one. Yeah. Not only did they think I was crazy, but they thought I should be on antidepressants because something's wrong with Sarah. Um, and Sarah always ate weird. Well, I was trying to (laughs) fix myself and it wasn't working, but at least I was trying. Right. And they were getting away with eating crap. Now, fast forward, I'll just give you a little, a little highlight from uh, the story is Some of my family members literally weren't talking to me and they now are, are some of my biggest clients. Oh, because they were so diabolically opposed to the rhetoric that you were spewing. That was crazy to them. Yes. So was that, was that PCOS you had during that pattern too? Yep. I had PCOS, which is insulin resistance at the level of the ovaries, right? right? Yes. Insulin res- diabetes is insulin resistance at the liver. That's right. Heart disease, insulin resistance at the heart. Alzheimer's, insulin resistance at the brain. But right. what I had was it was just showing up as in my ovaries. So here I am on my path. I finally found my guy. I finally was peeling the onion, detoxing from heavy metals, regulating my blood sugars, eating more protein. Um, eating more vegetables, less of the sugar, less of the artificial sweeteners, got off the Splenda, which was a total addiction and disrupted my gut. What did Um, you have Splenda in then if you weren't really doing diet sodas? I was putting it in everything. I was sprinkling it on fruit. I was putting it in frozen yogurt. I was probably ate cereal because remember we thought cereal was low fat, so we ate it. Right. I literally put it on everything. And what people don't tell you is these artificial sweeteners um, blunt your real taste buds. Uh So then you need more and more and more and more. For sure. Right. And then that causes um, is one of the hidden causes of insulin resistance. Um, So as I was along my journey, healing myself, my son, who's my eldest at nine years old, 
um, he went, he was not feeling well. He was looking yellow. He went from that straight A student in fourth grade to like, couldn't even think and do his homework to, I couldn't get him to go to a 20 minute swim lesson. A nine year old boy, these kids should be running around and wanting to do every single sport in the world. And so we scanned him and my practitioner looked at me and he said, you need to go have him do a blood test and you don't want to run it through insurance because you don't want them to have to tell you what you're going to have to do with your son. Really? Yeah. I didn't know so, that that was an option to avoid. And plus it may not put it in your chart then as a diagnosis that you have to carry with you or that brands you. Exactly. Hmm. So what we did that, and we also did um, put the blood underneath the microscope. And he was sitting with me, my son, Jackson. And when we were doing it, um, the lady was very blunt. She had no bedside manner. And she looked at me and she said, he's got leukemia. If you don't do anything about it now, you're going to have a very serious issue in about a year. And I just was like, I can't believe I'm hearing these words. And Jackson looks at me and I start crying. And he goes, mom, why are you crying? You're going to fix me. I love Jackson. <laughs> and I mean, the stories that I have with my son, Jackson, we could go on for days with that one. How, how um, old is that boy now? That boy now is 20 years old awesome. at the University of Utah. Awesome. He is, he's, was tested multiple times positive for COVID and never had a symptom. And that is because of all of the supplements and everything. See, people, don't follow what the media is telling you. I'm sorry to yell. Okay. Now, because we're getting ready for the fall and it's already coming. Girl, they've already started. Colleges <laughs> yep. are having to mask up and all. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he was smart enough to go to a Utah university. So he's in a good state. Don't tell anyone Utah is my favorite state. Don't tell the other 49 other states. <laughs> in fact, I'm going there next month. Like I love it so much. I go at least once yeah. or twice a year. It's yeah. magical. It's freedom. And it, it's magical and freedom and the weather's perfect. The end. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's actually going to lay by the pool today and he'll be skiing in a couple months. So, so what city, wait, is that Salt Lake city yes. too? Yeah. Cause it's across the street from BYU, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pretty close. I don't know if it's quite. One of them they say is across the street. You know, they say there are two colleges here. They're, I'm telling you, I've done my Utah research. People. <laughs> like I'm going to get a band of Arkansans and we're going West. Right. Okay. Proceed about your story. So he's nine years old. You get this diagnosis. You know what that means. He has no idea. Where did you go? So I went back to my practitioner because I knew what the traditional medicine does to the body. It, it and, and we just watched one of Jackson's friends at the age of 20 who had lymphoma, a horrible diagnosis, go through radiation and chemotherapy and literally it is taking the body to death's door. That, that's the goal. That's the goal. Right. And then for you to somehow get yourself back. So what we did is we used supplements. And my flagship product that is still here today, the Accelerated Scalar Silver. Okay. So this is, this is what helped my son, Jackson. And mind you, Back then, I didn't know what I know about food. I cleaned up his diet, but I, and he still goes to birthday parties and all, you know, eating all the crap it, that his friends are eating at school. I could only do so much. So the right. good news is Jackson is like an old soul. And even at the age of nine, when I said, okay, to heal your body, you got to clean up the diet. He was very good about it. Fast forward to 20 year old and college freshman year. He was cooking himself food and not going to the cafeteria with his friends. And it isolated him a little bit, but he knows the value of food and the nutrition. It took him about two days to figure out how horrible he felt on that cafeteria food. So oh, Jackson, though, um, so we did this. We did the accelerated silver. We did a few other supplements. We then went back a year later put his blood underneath the microscope. The lady that was so blunt the first time 
literally says, I've never seen such beautiful blood of a nine-year-old. She said, not only is there no cancer, but those cells are plump and dark and they're alkaline and they're separated. And I don't know if any of you have seen this bloods all clumped together where it's really acidic. How can nutrients get in the cell if they're all clumped together? You don't have to have cancer to have bad blood. And you should go right. online and look at some um, some little videos of blood. Now, legally, I can't put that blood on my website. I understand. But I still have those blood videos of him from nine years old. Okay, so Jackson, then we get him on a path. Oh, and by the way, we're sitting in that appointment and I start crying again. <laughs> and I'm crying with tears of joy. And he goes, Mom, I don't understand. I knew you were going to fix me. Isn't that and sweet? He was just, he was so appreciative and so sweet through the whole process. So there's Jackson. We're, we're chugging along. He's back on track. My second child daughter, uh, Michael, she was, gosh, ever since she was out of the womb, she had anemia. Anytime someone got sick and it would last for three days to a week, she would be sick for four weeks. Asthma, allergies, anemia. Yes. yes. And, um, I joked to her with her today. I'm like, when you were four years old, I loved you, but I did not like you. You were not cooperating with me as a mom and you made it so Honey, hard. She didn't feel good. She did not feel good. She had zero energy. She couldn't get on her bike to go around the block with the family. Right. And here I have Jackson wanting to do a lot, all the sports and everything. And I'm, and I'm, I'm used to that child and I'm a, I'm a gamer. I'm, I've got energy now. I'm feeling, mm -hmm. starting to feel better. And, and my daughter's not working with me here. And so asthma, allergies, anemia, um, that girl today is a freshman at USC as on the crew team. Wow. She I legitimately, legitimately, because remember all those people that faked it to get on the crew team and, exactly. yeah. you know, the, you the, know the full many, house actress and all those people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We have so many jokes about that, but she's doing double workouts, about six hours of awesome. working out a day. And awesome. if any of you have been on the rowing machine, you know, you need endurance, you need it's a row, you know, you need the aerobic and the anaerobic and the muscles and all of it together. It's insane. So she chose the hardest sport I know. for her. And that little girl wouldn't get on her bike to go on a bike ride. She has more energy than ever. She is thriving right now. And it just makes me so happy. Well, um, did the accelerated scalar silver thingy help her too? Yeah. So with her anemia and allergies, you know, the, cell, the silver helps with the allergies, but it also boosts the immune system. So initially we had to use some of the other Chinese herbal remedies to help with um, the, uh, the immediate acute issues with asthma and allergies and the silver was more prolonged where now she doesn't need anything. But I didn't know back then about the accelerodyne iodine and those two things. So if you can nebulize the accelerodyne iodine okay. in water and you can nebul uh, nebulize the accelerated silver straight and those two things people need to remember for what's coming this fall because oh, yeah. when you've got a cough or you've got sinus issues nebulizing and getting it directly into your lungs is the quickest way to kill it and so how do you help. nebulize iodine how do you do that you put the iodine w with uh, water. So you do about six drops of iodine for about two tablespoons of water. Do you have to steam it or you just squirt it up your nose or you your mouth? Do, you can do it either way. My okay. husband does it in a ne neti pot. You can okay. get a, a, ne a neb nebulizer off of Amazon, the okay. Om Omcron. I can't remember okay. if that's the name of it. They're everywhere. Okay, so Sarah, by the time this episode drops, you should have all this on your website, right? All the products. Yes, everything's okay. on there. Um, so the silver you can get in a bottle like this and you can put it in a nebulizer. You can um, put it in a neti pot if you want, or you can just buy the nasal spray, the accelerated scalar silver nasal spray. So as I'm mentioning this word scalar, yeah, a lot Explain of people- that. 
yeah. might need to know what scalar means. And scalar is a frequency, scalar field. The way that it was explained to me, which I love this way, is that um, it's like prayer, okay? I've got a friend in the Ukraine right now. I'm praying for her safety. That prayer is immediately there, right? So that's scalar. It is immediately there where the difference is, is like radio frequency, like the radio coming out of the FM radio. It takes a little time to get to you. It's this wave that gets to you, right? right? But right. there is a little time lapse, not that the human brain can really grasp, right. but there is a, a delay. Um, so it's different. It's this pure scalar um, frequencies that then what we take, we take all of our supplements, accelerated health brand supplements, and we use what that ingredient or that supplement is supposed to have, like this, the colloidal silver. And right. of course, it's then the only most pure with the best ingredients. So many supplements out there, buyer beware. They're full of mold. They're full of bacteria. They're getting through the, um, the inspections without being caught. It's crazy. It's worse than ever. And we are so adamant about keeping our stuff right. the most pure. So anyway, so we take purity to the highest level. We take the ingredients, but then we enhance all of our supplements with scalar frequencies to help the healing. So I have to be careful with the silver on what we're saying because this is going on YouTube, correct? So, yes. mm -hmm. um, okay. So we, silver has been known for thousands of years to devitalize viruses, right. bacteria, right. and all foreign pathogens. So we also embed in it frequencies to boost the thymus, which is part of your immune system, right. to help devitalize very specific viral activity that may be present in the world. Okay. Um, so when, um, when something's a new threat, it will be um, programmed with those frequencies. Now, for the iodine, the accelerodyne iodine, this is these two supplements everybody should be on. Um, iodine is needed for metabolism, for hypothyroidism, for Hashimoto's. I've actually helped people get off their thyroid medication wow. with the accelerodyne iodine and the accelerated thyroid, which we can get into in a minute. But the um, iodine not only increases cellular energy and ATP by over 36 times, but, and helps give the thyroid the right iodine that it needs. Now, there's a lot of controversy over iodine out there. Yes, yes you can overdose on the wrong magnesium or the wrong water. You can overdose on anything, but when you're taking the right iodine that is radiation-free, absorbs 100% into the cells, not just the thyroid, but all 100 trillion cells. And it's detoxing you of the halogens, the, the um, fluoride, the bromide, the chlorine, all of those halogens are sitting in your thyroid, sitting in your brain, mm -hmm. because you don't have enough iodine. 96% of the United States is deficient in iodine. So when you feed all of your cells this iodine, the scalar frequencies are detoxing you of the radiation from Zoom, from the cell phone, from the 5G towers, um, all of that radiation, and from the heavy metals in the water, the diet, and even in my organic food that I'm eating, everything I'm doing, I'm exposed. And so are you, Lisa. Right, and and it's sure. right. We are... Sure. It's really difficult to get away from. So that iodine's kicking out all the toxins, feeding the thyroid what it needs, increasing fat oxidation, increasing metabolism, helping with the fat burning. Um, and so, and then it's also antiviral, antibacterial. Iodine is known to have been the one thing they were going to in the 19, during the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic. Imagine that. Yeah. So you've got two like rock solid gangbusters going after um, and boosting that immune system. So you can take it prophylactically, not just during acute situation. Okay. 
Yeah, right, so good. No, I, I've, I've done the silver before, and then I guess I ran out and I forgot about it, or maybe my cold was over. But I, I'm I'm going to your website and I'm signing up. I'm getting all that. Yeah, there they are. And what's so great about the silver? I was actually talking to some clients about it today for kids. Like, okay, so kids are difficult. They're, it's hard to get them to eat what you want. Yeah. What supplements should I get my kid on? Silver. You know, I've had autistic children say, Sarah, I love my silver because they're in charge and this tastes like water. And so when you give a child ownership of their health, like I gave Jackson, yeah, it's like this empowering thing where, oh my gosh, I'm doing a good thing for my body and it tastes like water. So it's super easy to do. And I get my own bottle and you know what's so great is they can't overdose on it. So if you've got a three-year-old who drinks the whole bottle, you've wasted some money, but you didn't, you don't have to worry. Amazing. Amazing. And that's the same thing with the accelerated copper and the accelerated gold. Um, Copper is needed for everybody because the spike protein depletes copper processed foods deplete copper. So we have a completely depleted population of copper at the yes, moment. Yes, definitely. Co- yeah, I, I know that about copper. Um, okay, now back to your social... Wait, number one of my 50,000 questions. With the PCOS, because you're a skinny little thing, there's nothing to you. Did you gain weight? Because not everyone with PCOS gains weight, but did you ever get a weight problem? Um, No. Okay. So... Uh, what my issue was, was insulin resistance. And I right. still have to be careful. My blood sugar can spike very easily. Um, I was high in testosterone. What I did have was hair loss. I had acne, mm-hmm. um, very testosterone mm-hmm. looking acne, facial hair, a lot of that stuff. Mm-hmm. I never, you know, in high school, I carried a lot a more extra weight, but that's because I was eating five bagels a day with, 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 um, Absolutely. Frozen yogurt. Absolutely. So, and I mean, you were yeah. working out more and you were in a yeah. growth phase with yeah. some estrogen at that point. So there are yeah. times in our life that it, we would have our shapes do change, um, with you, you didn't then miscarry or have any of those problems. No, I never miscarried, but my friend, something's weird in the winter. I don't know if during the winter time it was easier for my body to get pregnant, but two of my kids, Jackson and my youngest, Kiana, literally had the same um, um, due date in September, which, you know, it matches up with, you know, New Year's Eve-ish, like Mm -hmm. cold winter where the body was probably, I was probably holding on to a little extra fat and what you need. Right. Right. But, um, for my, my middle, um, pregnancy, I needed Clomid. Um, so I needed help getting pregnant. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, So and I would do it differently now, obviously. I yeah. don't think I would have needed it because as soon as I started correcting my insulin resistance, my cycles were normal and my hair started growing in and my skin was better and everything was just working out uh, much better. I've never had more energy to, than I do today. I'm 47 years old and I actually, I'm so, I just got the chills because this summer, um, all three of my kids rode and I rode wow. in high school. And so this summer, the coach, the high school coach took the four of us out in a quad. And I literally said to myself, this is why I take care of my body so right. that I can do these activities with my children. That's what life is about. Absolutely. And I, I have the video and I, you know, it's, it's just a funny joke because the kids were making fun of me that my technique is outdated and all of this, but that is what life's about. And I want to stay as fit as I can and age backwards. As soon as I healed my gut and healed my body, my goal was not to anti-age, it was to age backwards. And I'm incorporating cutting edge supplements, cutting edge devices and protocols to do so. Stem cell patches, which yeah. activate your own stem cells. Yeah. But um, the, some of the supplements, you know, we talked about the silver and the iodine, really important for anti-aging. And then you have the accelerated keto supplement that this is, this is the game changer because it helps people feel like 
I can do this, Sarah. You're telling me to change my diet. And now with the accelerated keto, it flips your body into ketosis. You do not have to be on a ketogenic diet. I actually right. do not recommend a high fat diet for 90% of people. Wow. Now, Jackson, who needs about 6,000 calories a day, yeah. he can eat a high fat diet. But yeah. I can't, and most people can't, especially because the spike protein has disrupted the fat metabolism in the liver. That's why you got to love your liver. And I take people through liver flushes. But the accelerated keto, it flips you into ketosis. So your body's saying, oh, I don't need to eat. I'm shutting down my cravings for sugar. I'm going to go intermittent fast. And by the way, my insulin resistance is reversing. And by the way, when my insulin resistance reverses, I actually have more energy and I want to go walk. I want to go lift weights. I want to go run. I want to go be with my grandkids, whatever it is. You start burning that fat, but you're also turning that liver fat, that saturated liver fat into unsaturated fat. So it's actually starting to cleanse your liver on its own without even doing the liver flush. And then you're able to burn that fat much more easily. So you are in ketosis by snacking on your own fat stores. And then you focus on prioritizing protein to increase the fat burning and to regulate your insulin. And then the brain turns on. Imagine that. You actually can think. You know, Lisa, I have another story. So I've told you about my, my kids. My mom, as I've mentioned, both my parents, um, sugar addicted because they've never had a weight issue in their life, right? You don't have to look at your diet or take supplements when you don't have a weight issue. Most people think, well, my mom right. at 80 years old fell off her horse and she, she, yeah. That she was <laughs> even on a horse. Okay. Exactly. So she um, fractured her pelvis and she mm. can't really walk or do anything. And I said, mom, are you ready to listen to me? And she says, I'll do whatever you tell me to do. I said, okay, because you are in a, a position where What's the what's the statistic? I think it's like eighty oh, percent. The death rate, the death yeah. rate after breaking a hip. Yep. It, it's within uh, six months to a year. If they're in their eighties, it's a percentage. Ninety. I mean, it, it's not looking good. They are. No. They're ready to push up daisies, according to their provider, because yep. of the history of their health. Yeah. And how their health has been. So, what did you do to reverse that? So I told her, I, I said, are you ready? And she said, yes. And I said, okay, so you're on the silver, you're on the iodine, you're on the accelerated keto. You need to start eating wild animal protein and I'm going to order it for you, mom. So you don't have to worry about it. And it's super easy to cook. You just cook it like steak and chicken, just like everything else. Um, and the copper and she is, uh, what else? Oh, accelerated thyroid because her, her thyroid is slow too. So, and then I, I gave her a checklist of everything to do during the day, because of course this is overwhelming to her. But then I also said, okay, text all of your grandkids every morning, open your Bible, um, watch her podcast. I gave her all of these things to do. And then of course I'm calling her every day to make sure she's motivated and are in good spirits because you have to worry about the mental health. So two weeks in, she says, I'm doing great, Sarah. And I'm talking to her, obviously. She goes, but I forgot to tell you. She says, it's really strange. The day after my accident, my brain fog went away. And I said, huh, that's really interesting, mom. Well, did you know that the iodine is actually decalcifying your pineal gland and opening up your brain? And, and iodine deficiency is the number one cause of depression. Number one cause of oh depression. And Lisa, you being a Hashimoto's person should know that most people that go get on um, antidepressants or anti-anxiety um, drugs they don't get relief from it. I think it's over 50%. No, 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 no. They're saying now ni only 96%, 96%, uh, only 4% are helped. 96% are not helped. And there they're, then go. they switch the antidepressant, give them another one. And then they've gained another 20 pounds. They're more miserable. It's awful. So guess what the problem is? What? It's their thyroid. 
If you don't uh, feel good and you don't have the energy, you don't have brain energy, you do, of course you're depressed. So represent. When, I totally yeah. know. And I was diagnosed with depression before I was finally, someone listened to me and palpated my thyroid and saw my vitiligo before someone was convinced and went, oh, you, you're not depressed. You have, you have thyroid disease. I was like, duh. So for a lot of women listening, it's not depression. It's right. low thyroid function. I actually have an article about thyroid and mental health on my website. So everyone check Good. that out. But when people are put on the accelerodyne iodine and the accelerated thyroid, okay. not only are they getting off their thyroid medication, they're getting off their antidepressants. I totally believe that. And they, I've had um, this girl, 16 year old, who started taking the accelerated thyroid and she had already been doing the iodine, which she was feeling good. But she goes, Sarah, the accelerated thyroid just makes me so happy. I don't even know what to do with myself. And her PMS symptoms started going away. So that was really interesting because your th thyroid is your master endocrine gland. It's it's controlling your adrenals. It's controlling your ovaries, all of your hormones. So all of it starts working. And that iodine is also regulating your estrogen. So estrogen dominance starts going away, even in men. If your husband's or or dads or sons are getting those man boobs or estrogen dominant features, right. that is a sign that they need some more iodine and that will help. Um so the thing yeah. about iodine, though, it is micrograms, like it is measured in very small units. So you could get too much, correct? So with the accelerodyne iodine, it's a singlet atom of iodine where most iodines are actually diatomic or attached to another molecule. Okay. okay? Right. So if you're Hashimoto's or hypothyroid, which most people are now, mm -hmm. You don't even have the cellular energy to break apart the iodine from the potassium or whatever else. And that iodine is probably coming from a toxic source. In the news yesterday, Japan is now putting out in the water the Fukushima nuclear waste. Even <gasps> China, even China is saying, oh my gosh, we don't want any food from Japan. Think about the fish that, I mean, the sushi and the products that we think that are sourced there. Exactly. Y'all run the other way. So that's where you need to be careful with what iodine you're taking. Ours is coming from South America. Most other iodine supplements are coming from those areas in Japan and the Asias. And so what the problem is, is a lot of people who are scared of taking iodine is that they've had reactions from an from a radioactive iodine source Got it. or from the other ingredients in the supplement so that and and on my website i go through different studies that show that high dosing on iodine is actually safe if it's the right oh. iodine and we don't need to get into the specific studies but i go into it on um, a couple different articles one is children and iodine supplementation and the other is about the blood facts so the blood test facts and and what doctors see because what happens when you start taking the iodine your tsh might go up temporarily and the doctors freak out well tsh is a pituitary hormone right it's telling your thyroid to make t4 and, and it's screaming at it so when you start taking the iodine not just your thyroid but all 100 trillion cells in your body go Oh my God, I want mm -hmm. some of that. And the TSH shoots through the TSH shoots through the yeah. roof until all the cells are bathed in iodine. So now what else is happening? And you go back to chemistry class and you look at the periodic table, you've got the iodine and all of the halogens, the fluoride, bromide, chloride, right? So mm. if you don't have enough iodine in your cells. And in your breast tissue, because your breasts have five, four times the amount of iodine receptor sites than your thyroid. Okay. okay? Another. So if you don't have enough iodine, guess what's going to attach to those receptor sites? The fluoride, the, the bromide, you don't want. Right. the chlorine, chlorine all don't of these it. things that are in our food and our water. So when you high dose with iodine, it's kicking out all of those toxins. 
it's okay. kicking out all the radiation. There's no place for those toxins to fill those receptor sites. Right. So that is where the iodine comes in. And I take 25 drops three times a day. All and right. I've been doing that for a couple years and I feel fantastic. It's helped my and hair. My attorney my wanted life. to remind everybody that this is not medical advice. No, I'm just telling you what I what do. you do. That's right. Okay, let's switch over. You just posted about this and I'm um, I, I'm about to do a deep dive, but into mushrooms and, and not the psychedelics that we're, we're not, but we're talking about the good stuff that are right. healing, that are good for depression, that are good for energy. Tell me your top three favorites. Well, what I've done is actually I've put it, where is it? It's not even here. Um, reishi and right. the lion's mane. Right. These are in my Cognoblast brain supplement. Okay. So the Cognoblast has taken plant medicine from the mushrooms and taken some other ingredients that are smart nutraceuticals to not just help with um, brain function and short term getting ready for podcasts or art, writing articles mm -hmm. and that sort of thing, helping get kids off of ADHD medication antidepressants, anti-anxiety um, medication, but it's also preventing Alzheimer's and dementia. Okay. And some of these mushrooms are also very good at helping with the brain, right? So that is where you have to be careful. And I'm actually doing a, um, a article on mushrooms specifically going for in it soon because the problem with mushrooms and even eating mushrooms is that you could be ha taking in mold and that mold could be triggering your, oh, um, your allergies mm -hmm. and your asthma. And a lot of these herbal rem remedies are made from poor quality herbs. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the depleted soils that have no nutrients left in them, which detracts from their healing abilities. So where are these other companies getting their lines made from? If you're having the mushroom coffee instead of your regular coffee, who's to say it's not full of mold, right? right. So that is really um, part, of the, part of the issue when it comes to some of these these mushrooms. Now, with, with we've put the reishi mushroom in it. Reishi is a mushroom that has been used for its healing power for over 4,000 years, known to help with intelligence, emotional and mental balance, helps with the immune system, and improve lung, heart, and liver function. The lion's mane, is known as the modern brain tonic, and it has been um, shown to increase nerve growth factor, which protects against degenerative brain diseases that contribute to memory loss. So while it's known to help with memory and concentration, it can also reduce irritability and anxiety, anxiety and strengthen the immune system. The cordyceps is used to strengthen the body and mind. I've always taken cordyceps before we even formulated the Cognoblast for my athletics, like to get the, the lungs right. working mm -hmm. and to help with physical energy. Um, it contains both yin and yang and can be used safely by anyone over a long period of time. It's also known to reinforce um, that sexual power, the physical power. So a lot of men like to use that. And there's different types of cordyceps, and we've used two of them in the cordyceps, sinensis and militaris. Now, like I mentioned, it's really important to know where you're getting your mushrooms from. We had to test multiple companies that were reputable for ours to get into our formula. We right. wasted a ton of money getting these mushrooms that were full of mold and bacteria. And we asked the companies like, how can you be um, okay with yourself that you're sending this? And they said, well, it, it passed the test um, that we that we have. Well, Cause these are not the FDA regulated at all. Not that I care, cause I don't care about the FDA, but it is some type of regulatory body that has some standards someplace, correct? Right, right. So then what we've done with these mushrooms is we've included um, 
what's called centrophenoxine, a hard word to say, magnesium BHB, which is beta hydroxybutyrate, just a little bit of it, DMAE, teacrine, right. and um, so, so a couple others that help with the mental alertness. And it's what we love to do is then have that synergy of the plant sure. medicine that has been around for thousands of years with the new nutraceuticals, then we add the frequencies to it. So with the Cognoblast, the frequencies clear emotional and physical shock from the body, enhance the health of the brain, improve memory, and then also detox the halogen toxins that we were talking about from the pineal and the pituitary, decalcify the pineal and pituitary and the hypothalamus, and balance both hemispheres, hemispheres of the brain. Okay, got it. Um, let me go to, I mean, there's so many things I want to talk about, but we're going to run out of time. Um, tell me about your supplement ritual every day, because, you know, uh, magnesium is a mainstay for me. Magnesium breakthrough. I love that product. I do take thyroid medicine. Amy Horman, Horneman, the thyroid fixer lady, I take something to bring my antibodies down. You know, if you get too many, you kind of lose Lisa as a customer. But I do want to incorporate the silver and the iodine. So what are your must-haves every day in the morning, at noon, or at dinner, whenever you take your supplements? Okay. So the silver is super easy because you put a bottle in your kitchen or in your bathroom or in your car, and you just you take just a swig, swig when okay. you think about it. All right. right? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And you swish it around your mouth. For a minute and then you swallow gargle it with it for a sore throat spray it on your skin right and to wake up your face and literally you will feel a difference spray it in your eyes if you start getting blurred vision from staring at the computer so that's wow. easy okay yeah so when i wake up i sleepwalk to my iodine okay and i do my drops in my little cup of water and i chug it then I go make my coffee or my tea, whatever I'm starting, because I go back and forth. I, I go back and up and down with my caffeine intake to keep my um, body guessing. Right. And by the time I make my coffee and I go back to answer an email or two, then it's time to take my accelerated thyroid because the thyroid is um, programmed with frequencies to detox the thyroid and to heal the thyroid. So it can actually go kind of close to the iodine, but then you've got the iodine and the thyroid going, okay, we're gonna work together because all of the scalar frequencies that are enhancing the supplement are also telling the supplement where to go in the body. For instance, if you were taking the thyroid supplement and that is meant to go to the thyroid and the accelerated keto supplement, which is meant to go cleanse the liver and start fat burning, that they, the body doesn't know which way to go, right? It doesn't know if it's going to go to the thyroid or to the liver. So okay. accelerated thyroid is right 12 to 15 minutes after the iodine. Then I answer a few emails, about 20 minutes go on. I then have my accelerated keto. That's going to put me into ketosis and my brain literally like takes another step up. It's like it takes a step up with the iodine, then the accelerated thyroid and now the keto and my brain is like, whoo, and I am firing off emails. I'm writing my blogs. This is all starting at about five in the morning. Okay. So I that's where I get a lot of good work done. And then after about an hour or two, oh, okay, so, so supplement wise when i am moving on i take some other herbs I, i'll take the hormone fixer from dr amy horneman yep. um, and i actually carry that i carry her thyroid fixer on my site as well and i'll i'll take i, I take the thyroid fixer with my accelerated thyroid so everything thyroid related is together okay. and if on an empty your, stomach like we say about thyroid medicine Yes. Well, I'm an, I'm an intermittent faster, so I have a lot of hours on an empty stomach, but for anyone right. else listening on an empty stomach ish. Yes. Okay. And then when I get up and then after I've done some work, I'm ready to go do my workout. I'll, I'll take a swig of the accelerated copper, which is, where is that? Oh, I don't have it sitting here. Um, anyway, I'll take a swig of that 
it, you take it like the silver, super easy to take, just a swig, but you can take it any time of day. Um, then I will do, during my workout, I will do, put my accelerated salt in my water, maybe put a little of a, a wild lights or another electrolyte formula in there as well. The accelerated salt is full of 62 minerals. It's enhanced with scalar frequencies to detox the body, but also take away nausea, help with your blood sugar. It helps with um, any um, craving. So if you start craving in your intermittent fasting, put a little pinch of the salt on your tongue for sure. and the cravings will go away and you can right. fast for a little longer. It actually is the best tasting salt ever. My husband is so funny. He's like, Sarah, you need to stop talking about all the health benefits of it. Just sell it at the markets. It's the best tasting salt Good. ever. Love so salt. anyways, now I'll, I will do that in my water. I'll do my workout. Um, so those are the mainstays. Now, I do my magnesium breakthrough at night. I do my detox powder at night. That detox powder is a gut superhero. It reduces inflammation in the body, soaks up all the toxins that you're kicking out with the silver and the iodine, and it just makes you feel good. And people have reported that they're sleeping better, they're, they're Crohn's, colitis, all of that inflammation is in the gut is, 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 um, helped. And I do incorporate, um, I have a leaky gut bundle with a mega spore, mega pre mega mucosa. Those are super easy to take with or without food any time of day. I love the mega mucosa and mega pre because they're powders and they taste good. So there's something that, um, gives me flavor during my fa fasting window and it gives me that little sweet treat um, and really have made a difference with your gut, with my gut and most of my clients. Because if your gut is wrecked, a lot of this other stuff won't work either. So well, you've, that, got right. to, yeah. you, you've got to address the gut. I see that. Okay, we've got to wrap up here. Um, now, my intermittent fasting people are going to yell at their device saying, but Lisa, she had a flavor during the fast. You know, those of us in the clean fast world, that kind of makes me wonder, are you pushing out any insulin? Because it's glucose in our problem. It's the insulin that comes in and wrecks, wrecks our day. So what right. do you think? I mean, have you done a CGM to see what happens to you during that time? Um, I have done CGMs. I did not introduce this product until after I took it off of me. So I okay. don't have an answer to that. But what it is, is those, those are, there are some calories in there. Those calories though, are feeding the gut bacteria. They're okay. not real calories. So I have an article. I love that you brought this up on dirty fasting versus clean fasting, yeah. right? And meet, meet the person where they're at. If they, you know, if That's you're good. into clean fasting, then do those powders with your meal and okay. after you break your fast. All right. So, you know, I, I don't have a weight issue. I'm not trying to lose weight or well, keep strict with my clean. That's fasting. it. Right. So that makes it a little different for the people that I've had Jen yeah. Stevens and Lori Lewis and um, all the people. And so I, I totally respect that. And bio individuality, we're all different. Yeah. I totally yeah. understand that the way I eat and the way you would eat, but it I'm I'm we're all trying to get to the same end goal of good health, good energy, and reverse aging. Not so that I look younger, but so I feel my best, and that you clearly feel your best. So um, I've kept you uh, long enough. People need to follow your social media. All the links will be in the show notes. And God bless you, Sarah. Keep telling people what you're telling them. Be bold leave California, come to Arkansas. <laughs> we'll take you anytime. It's just way too hot here in the summer. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lisa. Thanks. This is so fun. Thanks for listening to the Lisa Fisher Said Podcast. Be sure to hit subscribe and download all the episodes and leave a review, won't you? The Lisa Fisher Said Podcast is produced by ClantonCreative.com.